Around a year ago, I did a phone trade with a friend of mine who goes by Vital Tech on YouTube. If you haven't already seen that video, go check it out in the top right and at the link down in the description below. As you may have noticed, this iPhone 5S is running iOS 7. And if you've watched a good bit of my channel, you may be wondering where this came from. Well, you probably guessed it, it came from that phone trade. In that phone trade, I received this 16 gigabyte gold iPhone 5S that according to Vital Tech was bricked. It was stuck in recovery mode and everything he had tried could not get the phone out of it. He knew that it was on iOS 7 due to the recovery mode logo. I let this phone sit for almost a year in my collection and didn't really do anything with it. Until about three weeks ago, I started messing around trying to figure out if I could get the phone working. And very clearly, I did. It turns out, this is an iPhone 5S, 16 gigabyte gold, running iOS 7.1.2. The screen on it right now is the screen from my silver iPhone 5S, as the home button that was on this iPhone did not work at all. Unfortunately, that means this phone does not have Touch ID. The screen isn't the only thing that needs replacing on this phone. The housing has definitely seen better days. The chamfered edges are absolutely destroyed and it was even bent at one point. But this begs the question, how did I get the phone working? Originally, my plan was to boot an SSH RAM disk and just examine the file system and compare it to a stock file system. I know what a stock iOS 7 file system looks like, thanks to my research that I did while installing iOS 6 on the iPhone 5C, which is a video I never released. But when I examined the file system, everything checked out. Nothing looked out of the ordinary, and it honestly just confused me more as to why it wouldn't work. Then my mind cycled back to something that I read while doing research on how to get A7 devices to successfully boot SSH RAM disks, as I had a problem with that at first. I read this in a Reddit tutorial on how to bypass iPhone is disabled or passcode locks on iOS 7 and 8 on an iPhone 5S manually. And essentially what it said, somewhere towards the end of the guide, I believe, was that the iOS 12 SSH RAM disk that has been booted onto the device for the bypass process would mess up a storage driver on the device if it was on iOS 7, and that you would need to boot an iOS 8 RAM disk afterwards to fix this issue before the phone would actually successfully boot. So honestly, at that point, I didn't know what else to do, so I just tried it. I made the iOS 8 RAM disk, I booted it, examined the file system one more time just to make sure everything looks good, and then I rebooted it. I honestly didn't think it would do much, but the phone restarted to an iPhone is disabled screen. So I've come to the conclusion in the end that somebody previously had this phone on the iPhone is disabled screen, knew that it was running iOS 7, and tried to either save blobs or manually bypass that iPhone is disabled screen and didn't boot an iOS 8 RAM disk to fix this Apple storage driver that gets messed up by the iOS 12 one. I've thought for hours and that's all I could come up with for a solution. So then I used that tutorial to manually bypass it and here we are. The phone does have Find My iPhone turned on, but I saved the activation tickets before I bypassed the phone. So kind of interesting story, but now this means I have two iOS 7 iPhone 5Ss. This 16 gigabyte gold one, with no touch ID, and this 64 gigabyte space gray one fully functioning. Both are running iOS 7.1.2. I would also like to address that I have not posted a video in over seven weeks now, and I do sincerely apologize for that. I've been quite busy with my life and haven't really had the chance to upload a video or even respond to some of my comments, but I'm currently on winter break from school and am planning to make quite a few videos and make time to make content and respond to y'all's comments in the coming weeks. I am coming back to YouTube for sure, as just today I received my first YouTube paycheck and would like to announce that the total came to $241. I honestly cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. After three years of making YouTube videos, I finally got monetized and my first check comes to $240. That is incredible to me. I do think this is partly because my latest video got almost 35,000 views and just this video alone made me 144 of those $240. But that means that $100 was still made from my other videos. I want to thank you guys so much for all the support on this video. This video now has almost a thousand likes and also helped me reach 3000 subscribers. 
So thank you guys so much for that. I cannot believe this. And I'm definitely making an effort to post more content and come back to YouTube, hopefully full time. Arriving in just the next week, I have two packages from eBay that I think are gonna make some pretty good videos. I'm also planning to make more content with my iOS 12 iPhone X that I unboxed only a couple months ago. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably remember this, my 256 gigabyte space gray iPhone XS that I bought back in October of last year to replace my iPhone 13 after I broke it. Funnily enough, speaking of my iPhone 13, I'm actually recording on it right now. But after over a year, I received this phone back from my brother who I let borrow it right after I got the iPhone 14 Pro. I'm glad to have this phone back. It's on iOS 16.7.2, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, if that isn't the latest version, but currently the battery is dead, so I cannot show the version. It still fully works, but has a battery health of only 76%, so that'll definitely need replacing. But I'm honestly really glad to have it back, and it's definitely gonna be featured in some upcoming videos. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a quick update on my channel and showing this new iPhone 5S. This will definitely be featured in some future videos, and hopefully a restoration video as soon as I can afford it. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers, my first YouTube paycheck, and all of the support on my latest video. This is seriously a dream come true since I was a kid. Also, if you're new here, please consider subscribing, as as of right now, only 6% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button, as it will help me in reaching my goal of 4,000 subscribers. I just reached 3,000, but why not shoot for 4,000? I did that last time and it worked. So if you're new, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a ton. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, peace out guys.